If you are able to solve the PYQs, it's good. If you are not able to solve the PYQs, then go back, do some solved examples, do some more problems, some easy problems, some difficult problems, and go to the PYQ. You can spend around two days for basic maths. You can spend around three days for trigonometry fully, trigonometric equations, identities, and solutions of triangles and heights and distances. So these are the chapters that you should be able to do it fully if you spend time wisely on these topics for the next uh, 14 to 16 days. Hi all, I'm Swami Prakash Sharma. I'm a fourth year integrated MSc student in physics at Nizer Bhumeshwar, and I'm the maths mentor in Sciastra. So uh, as you all know, IIT and NEST exams are very near. So I'm going to discuss some problems faced by the students, especially in mathematics. So problem number one is they face lack of practice in mathematics. So students can either be from biology background or they have a maths background or both. So if you have a biology background, in case you have not studied maths at all, so you can do some basic topics, which include sets, relations, graphs, inequalities. Uh, and apart from that, if you have time, then you can also study trigonometry. So how can you do it is the following. You can study the theory for around four to six hours. You can attempt some solved examples or some more problems for around two to four hours. And then you can switch to the PYQs of that particular chapter. We have already provided that. It will take you around one to three hours to it fully. All right, so in 10 to 12 hours, you can complete this basic maths if you have not studied maths at all. In case you face any problems, you can always ask mentors and other people. Okay, and if you are from maths background, but you lack practice, then you start with a chapter of your choice. You switch to the PYQs directly, since you have already studied theory, you are from maths background. If you are able to solve the PYQs, it's good. If you are not able to solve the PYQs, then go back, do some solved examples, do some more problems, some easy problems, some difficult problems, and go to the PYQ. So the goal is to keep revising and keep brushing up your concepts unless and until you are able to solve the PYQs because they are that most important problems that we need to solve. So next problem is students basically cannot solve section two of maths. So in any case, I would suggest you to attempt the section two of maths in NEST because it's not going to carry any negative marking. And if you want to build more expertise in that section problems, you have to practice more. So you can find more such problems in the mocks that we are given and the PYQs that we've already given. So solve the PYQ, solve the questions from mocks. Try to solve some variations of those questions so that you actually develop the mindset of how to do those questions in which multiple options are correct, right? So the next problem is, uh, should I do maths for some marks even if I'm, I have not studied maths or I have PCB background? So yes, I would suggest you to solve, at least con consider solving maths because around two to three questions in IIT are going to be very easy. If you have just studied the theory, the minimum amount of theory required, you can you should be able to solve those questions. And in NEST as well, at least two questions are going to be very easy. One question will be very direct. It will be based on some basic knowledge of mathematics, let's say number system. So it will be solvable. And another question will just use some basic concept of any particular chapter. So around two to three questions are going to be very easy and purely conceptual. So if you have at least studied some concepts, you should be able to do those questions. The next problem students face is, uh, I have done maths till board level, what should I do? So if you have done board level maths, then I would suggest you to go to the PYQs, do the same thing. If you're able to solve this, it's good. If not, go back, practice more, and then come back to the PYQ. The next problem that student face is, I'm not able to recall what I had studied earlier. So I would suggest you to do the following. Pick a concept, solve five easy problems, solve five tough problems. If you are able to do that, if you are able to grasp all the concept there, then you go to the PYQ, try and see if you can solve them. The next problem that student face is, I have studied some maths from physics, for example, calculus. Yes, exactly. So if you have studied uh, some mathematics from physics itself, let's say basic physics and uh, those things, so I would suggest you to see the calculus part of mathematics, especially the differential, differential calculus. See if you can solve the PYQs. If good, if not, go back, study some more theory and see if you can able to do it now. And uh, in addition to differential calculus, you should also uh, check out vectors and 3D geometry and see if you're able to solve those questions as well. The next problem is, 
I am from PCMB background and I have studied only calculus and mathematics. So that is fine. No need to study anything new since you have all four subjects. I would recommend you to focus equally on four subjects. So if you have studied only calculus, it's fine. Solve the PYQs, solve the mock questions. And if you feel confident, then it's good. So the next problem is for past six months, I have not touched maths. Okay. So I would suggest you to do the same thing as any non-math students would do. So do some basic things right if you are able to do that in let's say one week or so then switch to the next set of topics see if you are able to solve the previous year questions if yes good if not then no need to study anything new at this time as well you can study as much as you want but make sure that you are able to solve the pyqs next problem is plan for two weeks so this is uh, something that most of the students want so uh, this is what i would recommend for next two to three weeks in case you are able to yeah, you know you are willing to take some chances so you can spend around two days for basic maths you can spend around three days for trigonometry fully trigonometric equations identities and solutions of triangles and heights and distances then you can spend uh next two days on vectors and 3d geometry you can spend next three days for continuity and differentiability you can spend three days more on straight lines and circles and if you have some more days, some more time, you can spend one or two days more for statistics and mathematical reasoning. So in this way, around 14 to 16 days uh, should give you topics like basic maths, trigonometry, vectors, continuity differentiability, straight lines and circles, statistics and mathematical reasoning. So these are the chapters that you should be able to do it fully if you spend time wisely on these topics for the next uh, 14 to 16 days. All right. Koi bhi sapna saakar karne ke liye sabse zaruri hai sahi coach ka hona. Chuniye Sai Astra aur kare apne IAT and NEST ka sapna saakar. Download the app now.